My name is Sikumbuzo, good man, Mayaba. I am a good man, not only when I'm looking at her, but in the evening as well. Yeah. No, 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 it, it's important that I say that because my wife made it very clear. He said, I want three things, Kumbuzo. I want happiness. I want us to be able to make more money together. Yes. But there's this important thing. I want good adult activities. Yes. I want to be sanitized very, very well. Very important. <laughs> so, so, so she's the one who's going to start. I uh, introduce to you guys Asake Mayaba. So she's the one who's going to talk more about us. Thank you so much for the invite, Tatum Fundisi and the team. And this is the one who 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 is um, when we were asked to share our story and um, us being married, in the end, when we met uh, in 2016, there was this one random day. Um, um, so, <laughs> you know, the saints don't know what Iron Man is. Iron okay, Man I think let me educate them because they don't know. So Iron Man, guys, it's not a boldy building. Hey. You, it's a sea swim, not just any swim. It's a sea swim for four kilometers. You cycle for 180 kilometers, mm. and then you run for 42 kilometers at the same time. So you, you, you now understand what I meant when, he, when I said, she said to Ms. Kumuz, I want to be sanitized very well. No. So there's a link in there. <laughs> Uh, so we see a boy like is taking off his shoes, right? Um, when the young person is wearing the headphones at the toes, I realize that hey, there's something abnormal about the toes. Um, Umdu has four toes, okay? Um, so I needed to be very clear, ma. Guy, what's your story? Was there something that happened? What happened? But there's a story behind it. Apparently, um, when Umama was expecting him, there was a denial of paternity of Umdan. So, there was no DNA test and anything like that. So, when he was born, he was born with a missing toe. So, that was the only way to link that, no, he belongs to that family because Udada Waike had also a missing toe, right? Okay. So, going to Bali Salaya's story, I'm thinking to myself, oh, okay, it's not a big deal, you know. But then, after we got married, um, year one, I thought, okay, no, there was no talk about anything like that. But then, year two, year three, obviously, you start talking about children, you know, when would you like to have children? How many kids would you like to have? And I don't want to lie, I keep going back to that toe. I was like, Lord, I don't want my kids to have a missing toe. Okay? Because it's genetic. Now, there's a reason why I'm telling this is because 90% of the time, we are exposed to things before we get married. And we think that marriage is going to fix them. Now, when we're out there, 
they become the very same thing where the problem with. Because we automatically thought by signing that piece of paper on that one day, is in those of swept under the carpet. So when some news I get, I will relate to our get low at all. Um, so I guess you you meet someone, or Konza, for example, a Sabbath, when Okonza gospel, we take away one, eh, but you make one is Okoba. Okay, but we saw when the Kanjani Kosas Chatil. I be called and must command. I saw you born and go. Then now, when you get married, it becomes an issue. Um, I, I'm here to maybe I will link with the compatibility, but it was placed in my heart that this is something very key when it comes to our marriages. I experienced this three times that marriage does not necessarily, as we say, it complete ourselves. It complements what's already there. It complements what's already there. Um, the first story that I'm going to share briefly, before I met to school, uh, we met 2016, I was diagnosed with HIV 2013. It was a very traumatic experience. I hid it for my family for six years. That's how traumatic it was. I can't necessarily go to my mom. You don't get into it, but the image in our churches is very important. So going to her and telling her that I was HIV positive, I hid it for her, from the rest of the family, in fact. But Antuna Postis Manitri Lent, no bad shame, it was very traumatic. Oh, do I'm chat when that sound do funa still? I there's a lot of sometimes when you you know you go through a bad breakup, you're like, I don't want men ever again. Men are trash. Ah, shame na same night then city to cocot and they're on um chat. No more yen zen jegan shine, got the one um chat on their phone. I wanna be very honest because it's a puppet in happening. But go on the tender zion did you go see hey, I don't know how you are going to do this. But nam difuna obona umtu will eventually because that thing didn't work out. You took me away from that situation and you took me away caring umtuano. So I don't know how you're gonna do it, but you're gonna have to do it. But I was so isolated from family, from friends. And I only realized that Utiko was isolating me because he wanted to work through me. Because now in the morning, if we went to school, go 20, let's say 2013, 2014, I don't know what kind of impact. Because I knew there was a lot of baggage that I was carrying. There was a lot of resentment. And I knew if I did not work through me, I was going to take it out on him. Umdo ongaya zion, it was all understand that, but up until a certain point. That's why I say marriage does not complete, it complements. I had to work so hard for me to be the person that I am, so that Gandhi Dibana na ye. Send him cousin, John again fan, the one when I wanna in dom be very respectfully got the game and detect. But yeah, also very assured of myself. Because I do not want a situation where usku abone umdu wan azam sizela. But also with me, I'm trying to diminish myself to accompany where usku is. When I told usku about my HIV status, it was about, I abone mabone koskazi, but here we are, one, two, three. So, I, one, ungai, unga, fumokanya, vumi, but it's okay. Because, I, once again, I did not want a situation where he was going to feel obligated as a Christian man. That kukolo dade, onalendo, nafunege dimsizele. Ah. I'm fully, completely myself. I just happened to have a story. So is in the eyes by HIV go. Us kundi am tan no lang guti abandu have different HIVs. May not be HIV to you, maybe something else, a different kind of HIV. Traumatic experience from childhood. 
that still lingers in your adulthood. And you want to meet someone that's going to complete you. It's going to be a problem. The second experience I wanted to talk about, I come from a very strict family. I come from a family where I'm the breadwinner. It needs to be repaired. I need to, I need to scrap around. Everything needs to be on a standstill because Now, sometimes it's a challenge marrying a breadwinner. I'm going to be very honest. And I guess we change a lot now, marrying into a umdu in that situation, it can be a little bit of a problem because I needed to identify, I needed to distinguish myself and usku in respect of my marriage in front of our families. Zaipind, you need to distinguish yourself. You need to distinguish your own marriage with your person. In respective of in in in, in, wako, in front of your families, because if I don't do that, then so focus kuen again. Skwa phone longo two nango three nango four exen. Kuto ai kalo kuti na sas kala londa lebe upu tiga lo kuti na wa esni ke malenge na nje na nje. Ogo gafikum do tile we no longer receiving all those things. It's a context, unfortunately, of the families that we, we get married into. So, njengo mama osanduzala, kutwa ka uyeki sumda nebelen. Um, eh, uyamsu sebelen, kala, before u introduce omnyumdan. Because you need to now uumsu sekuwe and the bond that you have created. Doesn't mean ba uyam lasha. You're deserting, but you're establishing a boundary. Because if you don't establish that boundary, it's going to be a problem in the marriage. Now, it wasn't easy. In negotiations, is it were postponed twice. Because, since we need to compensate. Because, yeah. You need to compensate. Because uh, you're not going to come and work for us anymore. We've experienced those things. For the first time, I needed to stand my ground. Being called names. But I needed to stand the ground for myself and my husband. Because if I believe each other, you shall leave and cling to your partner, to your wife. The last thing I'm going to share before I hand over to school. When we met, we have, our story is so complex and also, like, honestly, I often say to people as well, may you find different parts of yourselves in our story. That's not, honestly, that's not a lie because there's so many, you know, um, parts of our stories. When we met to school, we were like, I'm a divorcee, and also being a divorcee, I have a son who also happens to be autistic. I was like, oh, okay. Now, when I get married, not to say you need to envision the worst case scenario, but you take it the last week and the time delay. You, you paint a picture whether or not they should go with this marriage or not. Or not. Because we sometimes want the fairy tale of what marriage represents. And then when we face difficulties in the marriage, it becomes like, I never expected this. When I was being told that I'm a divorcee and I also have a son who's autistic, I needed to envision the worst case scenario and also then decide whether or not I wanted to go with the marriage. My, my decision was based on the fact that, okay, let me envision the worst case scenario here. 
Firstly, this person has been married. I don't know what ended the marriage. That's the first thing. The second thing, I'm going to be having to deal with a baby mama. What if I can tend? What if it's a coban? How does that affect the relationship that school has with this child? Umdano autistic, nonverbal, cannot speak. He needs to be taken care of. What is my role as the wife of a school in that situation? And considering all of those things, then saying, do I want to go with this marriage or not? Uyayaz the situation yako. Aba by engaged or dating. Yes, as a, not to per se red flags, but you know those things where you're like, mm, okay. I didn't necessarily like this. So now as a Makoti, am I also going to be expected to do a Masiko? <laughs> right? Because then it's a problem. Now once you get married, I'm not, I saw the Nyanza Masiko Galoko. But then you knew before that you were going to be able to do But you still carried on. Marriage does not complete. It complements. So, I, in everything that Nozi said, I want to end off by saying two stories, or maybe five things. So, so one of them is that marriage is not a confirmation that a guy loves you. So, so you must never, ever confuse that. So, get kasha nandim kula u unozi. Okay. So, get kasha nandim kula u unozi o nandim funa. It took me, I think, about two, three months. And the day she decided that she's considering me, she sent me this, um, this Bible verse. It's from Romans 12, verses 9. It says, do not just pretend to love others. Really love them. And then she went on to say, Skumoza, this thing is not only about me. It's about how you engage with other people as well. Because you will confuse things when you look at, at the container that you're looking at and you think that you love me. Because it's not about what you see from the outside, but what you will engage with on a daily basis. So number two is I needed to be ready for myself, not for Rihanna. She's the one who's carrying the story, the HIV story. It is not me. So the question was, what do I do to support her on a daily basis? Because the truth is that I won't take away the HIV. It won't be mine. But it was about how do I support her better. Number three is challenges will always be there. Your abbas is by a sogolis. Just general in Jim Dong Sis in Jay, the Amazgilona Wam. Ye, we are so golis. We are banner class of figure class cycle. Lea Bandabango, ma'am. Ima Ian Post, Ian Post is a date, but in Dinaz, okay, calendar, I am the Azaz. Hey, but sometimes we'll come by a bona woman's course. No, 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 no. The person that you unkalaga will be pandal realize when sex are winning. You need to dictate terms of engagement. Otherwise, if you don't do that, it's a kalaga bumfana. Kubaga logo tina. Kasuk chongile. Yabona, when I met her in that garden of Aden, and I in the fana no Adam, that chongi appeal. Kagan, I vin jogem nagi appeal and alamin. So I'm a daughter. If you know it, I tell you, I'm a daughter. 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 I'm a 
to end off by saying, you always have a choice in life. And choice number one is to choose Jesus Christ is the Lord and your Savior. If a man does not have anyone amoigayo, be very scared. So that's number one. Uh, number two, in the Tafnegizas ba Ivela Pina. Earlier on, she mentioned that I was married before. And how I behave now, I behave for myself. I'm doing myself a favor. The fact that Iapumela Gomye Mdaibone Inke is a bonus. But it's for me. I'm not doing it for anyone. So, and the, the third one is that choose not to engage. Velus tulelenji vale apimacha wen lumlo molona wako. The reason why I'm saying that is that the minute you then try and, and find out more and dig into that, so tibana the emotional side of her, and you won't win that engagement. And guess what's going to happen? Because you won't understand. Mlinde abe rad manu sindi akol sa nope nobo inzanganto. Olisa njayo na pep. And lastly, I, I want to to end off by saying, um, I was born in pain. Uh, my mom had seven children. All of them in front of me, this, well, well, the well, five ki- children. Bonke ba bezelo, ba ma bo bekwa, ko makaya wa, ko tata wa, ko nogo mama wa. By the time I was born, I was born in pain. And dabe ekaya glotata, kutwe aingo wait lumdan. So my mom had no choice but to take care of me. The only reason why she was crying so hard that day is because she knew that for the first time I'll have to take responsibility. And this responsibility starts with this one. And zamnigeza igama elitinku sikumbozo se pain. So she deferred pain to Mdanen. And as a result, I did not grow up like any other child. And at the age of 11, I had to go and work. And that's why I thank those that introduced me to Jesus Christ. Because the fact that I'm here today is the manifestation of what was planted back then. So what happened is when I got divorced or subsequently woken up without a job, there's a, there's a saying that divide and rule. Satan wan kupa pi, mven gogo, watatum sebens, kwa yegu kutu atata, kwa tatum umfaz, dayo shalez lalin, dambe mven kwenkom. But I realized along the journey where I came from. Ubangubani, who has been with me. And within eight months, I was back up again.